Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 100 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about pipeline return value inside set variable activity. So, you all know that what is set variable activity. If you have seen my Data Factory playlist, you know that. If not, please watch the before videos before watching this video so that you will get most out of it. Now, inside this set variable activity, there is a new feature called pipeline return value that was introduced and this particular feature is very helpful when you want to return some value from your pipeline back to the main pipeline. So let me explain you this. So let's assume you have a pipeline called main pipeline. Okay. And this pipeline is running another pipeline using execute pipeline activity. Okay. And here let's say there is something called copy pipeline which is a like a child pipeline. Now, from this copy pipeline, once this act execution completes, maybe you want to return some value back to main pipeline. So, in that cases, this pipeline return value future, which is available inside the set variable activity, is going to be very helpful. So, let me practically show you this. And before that, using this future, let me highlight you that you can create some variables on the fly which you want to return back to your main pipeline. And then for that variables, you can either use expressions or some kind of static data as well. So it can be string, it can be integer, it can be array, even you can supply back null values as well. So basic idea is execute the child pipeline and return some, some values from there using this pipeline return uh, value future inside the set variable activity. Let me practically explain you this to get most out of it. So let's go to data factory. This is my data factory. And here in this data factory, let me go to author menu and here let me try to create a new pipeline and let me name this pipeline as maybe copy pipeline. Okay, copy pipeline. This is my pipeline name and this pipeline what it does is it executes a copy activity to copy one file within the data lake storage. So let's go back here and under sample container. This is my ADLS Gen2 account. And we have a container called sample container inside which I have a data folder. So let's assume this employee file it has to take and it has to copy into output folder. So that is the task of this copy activity. So let me name it like copy employees. Okay, that is the copy activity name I have given. And here in the source settings, I am going to select a data set which points to my employees file. If I open this data set, you can see this is pointing to employees.csv file inside a sample container. So we are good. Now where I want to copy, I want to copy into output folder. So I already created one data set for output folder and I selected that. When I open this output data set, you can clearly see it is pointing to output folder. So let's go back to copy pipeline here and the file extension I want to be CSV because that is a CSV file. Okay. So far it is good. Let's assume this copy pipeline is copying data. Once this copy activity execution completes here, I want to use a set variable activity and using this set variable activity, I want to pass or I want to return some values from this pipeline back to the main pipeline. So let's assume, let me create a new pipeline here and let's assume there is a new pipeline called main pipeline. So this is like a main pipeline which contains or which executes your child pipeline. So this pipeline is going to execute this copy pipeline. Okay. So let me drag and drop that. When you drag and drop that, it will actually take one execute pipeline activity and execute that. So let me copy back. So yeah, it copied here. And if I zoom little bit here, you can see it added execute pipeline activity and it has a copy activity in it. Okay, so now this what it will do, it will try to execute this copy pipeline. If I go inside the activity, I can see it is executing copy pipeline. So once this copy pipeline execution completes, I want some values back to my main pipeline so that this main pipeline knows that this activity completed and maybe I want to perform some logging here. So how to achieve that? So to do that, what I can do is let me go to copy pipeline here and here inside the set variable activity. Let me connect this with a green line 
and success of copy data activity let's execute a set variable activity and here if you see under settings i can see pipeline return value so this option allows you to define some return values from this pipeline called copy pipeline so let me create a new uh, value here so first one i want to name it like uh, maybe uh, pipeline name so i want to retain my pipeline name so let me select string type and this is going to be a uh, static value so i am hard coding the value copy pipeline so this pipeline is a copy pipeline so i gave the same name okay you can see this now let's add another return value and let me name it run id and this is going to be a dynamic value so i am going to select the expression whenever this copy pipeline runs that run id i want to take so for that let i can click this add dynamic content under system variables there is something called pipeline run id i can use this to get that run id if you have seen my system variables video in the ddf playlist you already know that so now copy pipeline has two return values with two variable names called pipeline name and run id so with this copy pipeline implementation completes now go to main pipeline this main pipeline is executing my copy pipeline so far it is good now what i want to do using script activity i want to log that pipeline name and run id into sql table so for that i use the script activity here and under settings let me go here let me select a linked service for my sql database and if i go to sql server management studio i have some logging table here tbl logging let me execute this query you can see right now this table is empty it has two columns pipeline name pipeline run id so here using this script activity i want to dynamically execute a insert query to log the information of pipeline name and run id into that logging table so let me hit this add dynamic content and here let me try to write my code in code sql code insert into table name is tbl logging values then pipeline name i have to pass then pipeline run id i want to pass so i want to pass my this uh, copy uh, activity right whatever the copy pipeline i created that uh, copy that name i already passing using this uh, return value right you can see under this activity outputs you can see copy activity pipeline return value using this i can access that return value variables actually let me show you that so first column is so let me use dynamic expression here at the rate then uh, this flower bracket flower bracket and here let me select this so it will give activity copy activity that is the sorry copy pipeline that is the execute pipeline name here output dot pipeline return value dot what is the variable name which you defined for the pipeline name inside the copy pipeline that the same name you have to use so pipeline name is the return variable what i declared there so on the return values use that property using dot that way you can access that return value and here for the second column i want to pass my run id again from the same return values so dot run id is the variable name which i use so insert into tbl logging values using this dynamic expressions i am able to access the return values using this particular template here so let me hit okay so now if you closely observe what we did we created a main pipeline in which we are executing a pipeline called copy pipeline and this copy pipeline if i go this copy pipeline is copying the data and it is using set variable activity using these two return values it is returning it is returning back pipeline name and pipeline run id whatever the execution happens for this pipeline and now when i go back to main pipeline so this execution completes immediately i am using a script activity to log that pipeline name and pipeline run id so for that i am using a dynamic expression here i return my sql query but here i am able to access my pipeline return values successfully using this syntax here so let me click okay and now let me execute this main main pipeline using this debug execution why because i haven't saved my changes so i can perform a debug execution so now let's wait for my pipeline execution to complete here you can see my main pipeline execution started and if you closely observe it is executing copy pipeline activity which is execute pipeline basically and if you see it is executing a copy pipeline 
and if you see the output json here it will have the pipeline run id also see here this is the pipeline run id what it is giving you back and then script activity also executed successfully now if you script if you see the input uh, schema of the or input json of the script activity you can see your insert query insert into table then you can see in the values you have the pipeline name and also you have the run id automatically so how it came because of pipeline run id value variables what i created inside my child pipeline so that means my query executed successfully and now let me go back to sql server management studio and let me execute this i can see my pipeline name and also i can see my pipeline run id right the same run id whatever you are seeing here it is the same run id if you see the execution right it is the same run id here for the child pipeline so that way using this set variable activity and pipeline return value future you can actually return some custom values back to your main pipeline okay so this is very helpful function basically or very helpful future it is long waiting future basically so if you guys are having any need where you want to execute a child pipeline and return some value back start using it it is going to be very helpful so that's it in this video thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much